Hi, I'm Brett. I'm Jade. And this is our wrecked boat. She's a 2008 Beneteau Oceanus 49, three cabin version, single owner with a shoal keel. Here's the gist. Our boat is made up of a hole and a grid. The hole provides the hydrodynamic curves and keeps the water on the outside. The grid provides the strength and structure. Both parts are made in separate molds out of solid GRP and then glued together. Then you have a strong boat, the world is your oyster, untie the line, ships ahoy, everything is swell. Unless something catastrophic happens, like what happened to our boat. The previous owner was out for a sail. It was a perfect day. Sun was out, sails are full, everything was right. But then, the 50 feet fiberglass and metal comes to a halt as the boat runs aground. So why is that a big deal? Our keel is bolted through the hole and to the grid. So when the keel hit the ground, the force on the keel pushed up on the grid, flexing the hole, breaking the bond between the grid and the hole, and cracking the grid in some places. So what was a strong vessel is now two big separate pieces of fiberglass bonded together in a few places and with a big you know, multi-ton keel hanging beneath it. The owner did an inspection and didn't see any leaks, and so he continued to sail it for five more years. That is until fall 2019 for haul out maintenance and storage when it was discovered just how bad a shape the boat actually was. And that's where we come in. We bought a freaking boat. What, what are we thinking? Oh my god. <laughs> Don't freak out. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Don't freak out. We found her on YachtSalvage.com. She's the boat we've always dreamed of but couldn't afford and just the kind of project we've been craving. We knew it would be an insane, what are you guys thinking kind of project, but that's her favorite kind of project and we're committed, 100%. It's been a couple weeks since we won the auction. Since then we've torn it apart, cleaned it up, motored her around, had a good look, and I can honestly tell you that we love this boat. This is an awesome boat, seriously. So good. And one of the best parts is that we are, we're right on schedule for our plan of buying a boat. It's been five years of, of talking about this and planning and, and here we are. We got our, we got our boat. What we didn't plan on were the COVID shutdowns, which is also going on at the moment. But that means for us, we both work in industries that have been Shut down. effectively <laughs> paused, shut down. So at the moment, neither of us have work, which means that we have all the time in the world to get this project done. Um, all day, every day, we just get to work on our boat. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> it also means that we have all the motivation in the world to get it done as quickly as possible and as affordably as possible. We are living on our life savings right now and just spent most of those on the auction. <laughs> so we're being frugal, we're being quick, while obviously making sure that we're gonna do everything we need to to make sure it's done right and safe and ready to go for when we set off on our adventure. In other words, we are all in, and this is gonna be crazy. So buckle up. Buckle up. Make sure you subscribe because there's a lot coming. We're about to jump in and show you guys everything we're planning to do to get our boat back in the water safely and all repaired. Uh, but we're not gonna show you the whole boat today. We released a video last week with a full tour of the boat, a full tour kind of showing all of the damage and also our first reactions of when I got to see the boat for the first time. So make sure you jump back, I'll link it below, go watch that video. And right now, we'll get started on the damage tour. Show you what's wrong with it. <laughs> Our main project for this boat is that we need to reattach the grid back to the hole because they got cracked and separated. Seems like it should be a pretty easy task, re-glue it, whatever, but it's a pretty big undertaking to get it to go back down the way it needs to and securely so we can sail the world. Mainly because the way fiberglass works is when it gets damaged, when there's like a big crack like we have, it often has a crack and then it has some spiderweb cracks going out away from it. In order to do it right, you have to get rid of the crack and any of the underlying or 
minor cracking going on out away from that crack. When you have a piece of damaged fiberglass, you can't just fill in the crack or put a patch on it. That would lead to delamination and it would just end up a thicker piece of bad glass. To do it right, we will need to grind away all the gel coat, cut out all of the delamination, all of the big cracks, and all of the little hairline cracks that extend from the big cracks. Once we do this and all we're left with is good glass, we can put on the new glass and create a thick layer of good, strong, reliable fiberglass. So if we do this right, like we're planning, once it's all said and done, our grid will be as good, if not stronger and more attached to the hole than the day it came out of the Benito factory. But here's one of our main cracks that we're gonna have to fix. This right here, we're gonna have to cut completely out. We're gonna have to cut out pretty much all around it to make sure that there's none of those hairline cracks spreading out from that main crack. That's one thing we're gonna have to do. That's pretty much on all of these supports going across. The other thing we're gonna have to do is deal with the separation. This entire grid structure has separated from the hole and these tabs going right here are still attached to the grid. And what we're gonna have to do is either get underneath them and cut out all the glue, the bonder that was originally securing the two pieces together. That's option A, is to get out that bonder and then use some weights and a jig, basically pulling down on the grid to re-bond the two pieces. Option B is if we can't get in here well enough to get rid of all of that glue to make sure, again, make sure we have good glass going to good glass, is that we're actually gonna have to cut these off. We'll cut them off entirely, clean it all up, and then obviously we'll have to sand all this off. So again, we're going good glass and put fiberglass here and down. Either way, we're going to be doing that, uh, putting glass from the sides all the way down to the bottom. It's just whether or not we're gonna have to cut off these tabs. That way, when it's all said and done, is fiberglass down the sides, across the bottom, bonded to the hole, super solid. And that's gonna extend all the whole length of the damaged area and then extending past that to make sure, again, we're getting good bonding. Whether we go with plan A or plan B, we're gonna need to drop the keel. This will make it where our grid can lay back down with the hole so it can bond correctly in the right position. And while it's down, we need to do a good inspection because it had the grounding and we need to replace all of the keel bolts. And we can't forget about the rudder. So next time we go up in the slings, we're also gonna be dropping that as well. It needs to be inspected after having the grounding like it had. While it's down, we'll be able to check all of the wear items, make sure nothing is broken or needs to be replaced. That way we know it can be relied on when we get back in the water. There's a few other odds and ends that we'll need to check on after having the grounding, such as the engine mounts. She's also definitely gonna need a new bottom paint job. So we'll be doing that ourselves as well. It's gonna be quite the undertaking, but we're really excited to get started. Uh, after we get done filming this video, we actually get, a, get in there and finally really start on the project.